Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vibe Man. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Mario Kart Retro Rewind, the Dolphin app on Xbox. For this tutorial, you will need three things. An external hard drive with the Dolphin USB folders, your own copy of Mario Kart Wii, and also the Retro Rewind version 6.0.6 .6 Xbox folders. If you've never set up an external hard drive for dev mode, I will have a video link in the description showing how you could do that. And also if you need the Dolphin USB folders, I will have a link down below for that as well. I bet so once you get the zip file, all you would have to do is simply extract it. What I would do is just right click on it and depending if you have WinRAR or 7-zip, just hover over it. And then I would go to Extract to Retro Rewind. And then once you do that, you should have these folders down at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is simply click into it. And then now you should see all these files here. So what I want you to do now is make sure your USB external hard drive is plugged into the computer. And what we're going to do is simply go to the file explorer and open a new tab. And then we're going to go to where our external drive is. And then we're going to look for our dolphin folders. Mine is called dolphin files. Go into that. Go into your load folder. And then go into your revolution folder. All right, bet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold control on the keyboard. Click on the revolution, the apps, and the retro rewind 6 folder. And then we're going to simply drag and drop it into our dolphin folder on USB into the load revolution. Now this might take a minute or two. Just give it some time. So now once this is finished for you, now what I want you to do is for this directories.txt file is I simply want you to open it. Make sure you still have the other tabs open. All right, so I made a little template so this could help us edit our .json file correctly so that the mod actually loads. So what I have here is a game directory and the revolution folder directory. We just need to change these to match the way yours is set up. So if you left your tabs open, we should already have the revolution folder open. So what we're going to do is go back to where the other tab is into the external hard drive into your dolphin folder load revolution. And what I want you to do is right click on revolution and go to copy addressed. We're going to go back to the text document. We're going to press enter to go down a bit and we're going to paste in our copied address. All right. So now what I want you to do is for all these backslashes, we need to put forward slashes right in front of them, just like it shows on the top. We're going to do this right now. Forward slash, forward slash, and then forward slash. So then once we do this, now for the folder directory, we're just going to go to where the first slash is. And then we're going to highlight all of this until we get to the end for revolution and then we're going to delete that and then we're going to go to the first slash of the one that we pasted into this and then we're going to copy it and then make sure to do it inside these little commas then we're going to paste it just like that we added our revolution folder directory so now at the bottom you can just delete this and then now lastly, we need to do our game directory. So what I need you to do is go to your external drive and go to where your Mario Kart Wii is located. So mine is in my games folder. I have mine organized. Mine's in the Nintendo Wii. And then look for your game. And then right here, this is mine. And now all I'm going to do is right click on this and go to copy as path. And then we're going to go back into the text document. And then we're going to paste this into it. And then now we're going to do the same thing we did for the revolution. But now we're doing it for our game directory. So to match it up with the one on the top, we just need to add the forward slashes to all the backslashes. So right here, let's do it. Forward slash. Forward slash and then forward slash. 
and then leave it just like this. And then now we're going to go to the first slash up here for the game directory. And then we're going to go to the last letter. And then we're going to delete this. Copy our new one at the very bottom. And then we're going to paste it right into this at the top. Just like this, we just set that up. So now that we have this set up at the bottom, I'm just going to delete this. I bet. And then once you do this, all we got to do is go back to that retro rewind folder. And then since we also have our games directory opened, what you could do is simply drag and drop this Mario Kart Retro Rewind.json file into your Wii games folder. And then now the last thing we got to do is right click on that new .json file. Go to edit in notepad. And then now you're going to see why we were doing that stuff to the directory's text. So now for the base file, we need to add our games directory. And then at the bottom for the root and the XML, we got to add our revolutions folder. All right, so simple. What we're going to do is go back to that directory's text. And then we're going to do the same thing we were doing earlier. Go to the first bracket, highlight it, and go all the way down to the end. Then we're going to copy it. Go to the .json file that's in the notepad as well. Go to base file. And then go to the first bracket, highlight it, delete it, paste, boom, now you got that. And then now we got to do the root, so we'll go back to the directories text, go to your revolution folder directory, go to the first bracket, go to the last letter, copy it, go back to the .json file in the notepad, and then for root, go to the bracket, go to the last letter, Erase it, paste, and then now for the XML, we're going to do the same exact thing. You don't have to worry about this part. We just got to do the last letter of the first revolution that's right here. So go highlight this, go all the way to the first bracket, delete it, paste in that directory. And then now that we've done this, now you can simply go to file go to save and that's pretty much about it now you could eject your external hard drive for your pc plug it into your xbox open up dolphin now you can look for the mario kart rewind based in file in the dolphin menu open it up and enjoy your game